Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design a sheet metal part which has blend in between a rectangular section and circular section. So this is a ducting part and once you design this part, you can easily get the flat pattern just like this. Now if you see this image, you have different kind of shapes using blend in between a rectangular section and circular section. So if you see this piece, here you have a rectangular section blending with a circular section, but both the sections are not concentric. If you see this piece, here also you have a circular section blending with a rectangular section, but in this case, both the sections are concentric. So you have different type of blend here. Similarly, I have multiple parts here. So this is the first part. Now if you go to the second part, this is the second part. here. The sections are not concentric. So this is a circular section and this is a rectangular section, but both the sections are not concentric. If you go to the third part, here also you have blend in between circular section and rectangular section, but here this section and this section are not parallel. So unlike the first part where both the sections are parallel, here sections are not parallel and then also you can create the flat pattern easily. Similarly, if you go to the next part, which is this one, this is a multi-body part because you have the top flange and the bottom flange. So if you go for the flat pattern, you get result like this. So this part is manufactured into three pieces and then it get welded in these locations. So this is that kind of part. One more part I have similar to this part which is this one. So this part is designed in a single piece. So if you go to the flat pattern, you get a flat pattern like this. But this design is incorrect because this is a bent part and you cannot manufacture this part as a single unit. Then at last we have this part where you have the blend in between a rectangular section and ellipse and here also you can easily get the flat pattern just like this. So I have multiple parts here and I will design these parts one by one. Now this is just a short so watch the full video to learn all these things in sheet metal design in Creo parametric and for the full video check the description and thanks for watching.